Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Baldur's Gate 3. We had just begun exploring this spider cave under the Blighted Village. We had a fight with a couple of phase spiders and some ether caps. And now I'm essentially just exploring whatever is left. We have some backpacks around here. Well, some cocoons apparently. And what else do we have? Dead gob. Oh, yeah. A bunch of stuff here. We are making a lot of noise, but I mean, I think we killed the enemies. So it shouldn't be much of a problem, hopefully. Maybe I'll just move with Zaytel. I, I can never get the name right, Jesus Christ. Lazel. So it's less people making noise on the webs. Is anybody on the web? Gail, what are you doing there, man? No, no, stop <laughs> Stop being silly, Jesus Christ. Let me my magic. Okay. Indolence breeds madness. Uh, face spider egg. Oh, I cannot pick it up. Can I... I can kill it. Okay. A pot. rusted blade. Icarus Egg Clutch. A... An area that kind of looks like an arena. Okay, gotta be careful with this. So, where was the Goblin Child? I want that area. Yeah, like I said before, it's kind of tough sometimes to actually understand uh, where you've been at already. Okay, here's the child. Backpack. Ooh, a nice, great healing potion. Don't need these. Mm, game is saving, which usually means trouble. This is also a way into that arena looking area. Can I, oh, can I attack this? Okay, I can, but there's no real point. Food, spider egg. We can open the way here. Which, again, brings us back into this arena looking area. But I think I have picked up everything in here no not this oh, 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 oh skeleton nothing old backpack all right and hmm <clears throat> well come on Wait, have I been here before? Ooh. Oh, I've never been here. I have never been here. Oh, it's just another wall for the... Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Immune to slashing damage. Not to worry. Oh, did I, did I, st oh no, it's here. And done. No, this is not what I'm using. I'm using the sword. Uh, here, okay. There we go. Well, with this done, I think we're gonna explore that arena looking area. Now, how many spells do we have? Two spells. Not very many, and not very many. Hmm. In the spirit of not wanting to abuse... Well, I'm not gonna say it's abuse because it's not. But in the spirit of not just trying to rest every single time I expect a fight. Um, I'm gonna attempt this without resting. 
Oh my sweet Jesus. If anything was sleeping here, they are most definitely no longer. Okay. Let's get Tears Protection. Because it lasts until the next long rest. We have Light, which is fine. Let's move him. We can quick save. Okay, and what do we have here? Just a large area. With a very large spooder. Face Spider Matriarch. And I'm going to try and play this as if it were my first time. There's a couple of spiders down there, face spiders. How do I actually start this fight? I guess if I get stuck on a web, the fight starts. Okay, you go invisible. Uh, I'm gonna split my party around a little bit. I'm gonna try and see if I can understand once more th this whole thing of joining the battle while in stealth and then the turns get mixed up. Okay, we're gonna go over here with Lazal. I want my <clears throat> spellcasters more in the back. And Shadowheart can come over here. Definitely don't want people too stacked up. Okay, now, how do I begin this? Can't afford any mistakes. How do I begin this? Um, maybe quite simply with a immediately firebolt. Uh, come on, target too far. But I don't want to step on the web, man. Hmm. <clears throat> Give me a second. Okay. One by one. Okay. Combat started. Oh, now they're surprised. This is so... It just seems so random to me. Okay. <clears throat> Shadowheart. Uh, you are going to bless the team. Okay, and I guess you can come over here. <clears throat> now, I would like for for the next time we play, we don't lose our turn with the people coming out of stealth. But again, I can never be too sure. <clears throat> so, Will, what is Will going to do? I'm thinking Will is going to go for just hexing. And I'm guessing I'm gonna hex Wisdom because I might want to frighten her with Lazel. Can I do it without stepping on the web? That would be great. Okay. Hexed. Okay. So you are blessed. <clears throat> and Lazel can't really do much besides shooting from afar. Okay. No holding back. So, hex is applied. I could try and just go for an Eldritch Blast, see if I can knock her back. Or I can try to go for Scorching Ray. And I do have the high ground right now. I think I will go for the Scorching Ray. Yeah. Three shots. Wonderful damage. Let us back up. Okay, you can stay right here. Uh, you can end your turn. Gale is also going to back up. Because again, I don't want to stack my people. Stay there. You already have a lightning charge. Cool. End the turn. 
So I guess it's time for Lazel to do something here. And we are going to shoot the bitch. Target outside the normal range, which sucks. Can I do it from here? Eh. There's also those annoying little spooders. Maybe I'll shoot one of those. 75% chance to hit. What other arrows do I have? Roaring Thunder, push them back. Deal additional cold damage. Spread the magical darkness on impact? That sounds cool. Maybe just deal some extra cold damage. Okay. Not bad. Switch back to melee. And stay here. Pass. You can... Yeah, you can stay kind of like here. And pass the turn as well. She is surprised, but no longer. She's now moving. She is summoning baby spooders. Wonderful. This bitch blinks. Which sucks. <clears throat> this one also blinks. Okay, they're missing. That's good. Okay, no more lightning charges. We have a bunch of spiders. I don't have level 2 spells. Because if I did have level 2 spells, what I could do is just shatter. And these only have like 7 HP. It would likely kill at least a bunch of them. But just so you know, like I said at the start, I was going to go into this fight as if it were my first time. What you can do before engaging the spider is kill all of the eggs from stealth. And then she doesn't have a chance to actually summon them. And that's, that's actually just a, a very good way of dealing her with, it, with her in general. I could try and push this bitch down into the void. Might not be a bad idea. Though I am kind of scared of getting too close. Yep, this would be a one-shot. So I will attempt it. God damn it. Well, I tried. Can't say I didn't try. Okay, your turn is done. Mm, before I move Lazel, <clears throat> let's look at Will here. Will can probably also just shoot her to wherever she she's gonna go or I could try and shatter that area but it's so far away I don't think I can ever reach it then again I can also try to reach it and if I can't Eldritch Blast this one over there I have some options okay Let's see what I can do if I'm... No, it's, it's, it's just very far away, isn't it? Because I can reach... From where I'm standing... If I walk forward, I can reach over here. But I think that's just... Ah, man, why? It's so confusing. Okay, I will try it. Screw it. If I can't shatter, I'm gonna try and knock this one down. Making my move. Yeah, okay. I, I just had a feeling, but it is what it is. Bitch, I hope you fly. Mm. I'm gonna pay for this. Oh, I am gonna pay for it. Let's hope they don't shove. <laughs> because if they shove, I might just be dead. Okay. So, you can end your turn. Mm -hmm. My friend, can you help me? 45% chance to scare. Or do I just go over here? Maybe I'll just come over here. Yeah, 
and just bite her booty or try to scare her. Let's try to scare. She saved. Okay. I have to try it. Now, Lazel. <clears throat> This might be this might be rough. Don't have a lot of very good options here. I am scared for Will. Make way. This is actually enough, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Sup, bitch. Menacing. Oh, come on. Suck it. Man down. Now, what are you doing? You aren't doing anything, right? You're coming back a bit. And trying to sacred flame this bitch. And if I am extremely lucky... I, oh, actually, I have a, a different plan. Right, right. She's only 8 HP. I can just fire a bolt to spider web and she should die with fall damage. Sure. Uh. Oh my god, you can't even kill a spider web. <laughs> All right. Eighteen damage. Fourteen damage. But wait, who took eighteen damage? I'm confused. Oh, the conjured cause it. Ah, okay. That's interesting. So I can knock this lady down if I can blow up the the spider web, which is usually a good idea. Will can try and. Eldritch Blast this bitch away. I'm poisoned. What kind of poison is this? Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. God damn it, man. That really sucks. That really sucks. So... I can go defensive, but I kinda wanna save my Shatter or a level 2 spell for the tiny spiders. 64% chance because of the disadvantage. I think I'm still gonna go for it. Let's try it. Oh, I had to try. I had to try. <laughs> okay. End your turn. She only has 8 hit points. But at the same time, I think I want to throw this one down. Okay. Time to mm. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to start by trying to send this one down. Okay. Let's see if I can burn the web. The path is interrupted. Do not mess with me, game. <laughs> Okay, please roll a 4 or higher. Please. Thank you. 60 damage, just like that. And, you know, it's very obvious that they want you to do this because the spider typically um, blinks on top of webs where she didn't really have a... or where she wouldn't really have a reason to do so. Okay, so your turn is ended. I have to consider what to do here. And I'm thinking about trying to shoot this one. Got to keep fighting. I want to save this web in case she blinks on top of it. That means another 60 damage, that means she dies. She only has 59 right now. So I am going to try and... If I shoot I have 60%, if I firebolt it's 50... 55. Let's shoot. Okay, we missed. 
It's fair. It happens. Victory awaits. Okay. My path be true. Wonderful, Lazel. She's doing a very good job. Oh, uh, I forgot to swap her back to melee. Oh, I can still do it, even if I pass the turn. That's interesting. Okay. I'll take it. Tiny spooders. Ethereal jaunt. Ethereal jaunt. They're all going for Shadow Heart. This is actually good, by the way. With the exception of them attacking, naturally. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, thank God. Oh! Twice! Now, she did not go for a... For a, a web. She's learning, she's learning, my friends. Okay, <clears throat> so... How do I handle this? Lazel is going to be the one taking care of her for the most part. But I won't be able to jump because I want to heal. That's the first thing. What should I, do? I no longer have a spell. Which sucks. No holding back. And Will is going to want to shatter this area. Okay. Thinking. Thinking. I am thinking. I am thinking. Toxin over here, which sucks, because I was also considering moving Gale over there to try and shockwave her down. But I think the plan is just going to be um, magic missile on her. I, am fury. I, am death. I could not heal and jump and go in for a menacing attack, but that sounds a little bit suicidal. Let's, let's heal. First things first. Okay. And I am gonna start making my way over there. I don't remember what a simple toxin does. Still, let's just go over here. Taking position. I could go for a, a mage hand, but why? There's no real point, right? I could throw something. What would I throw? I'm sure I have grenades. <laughs> but not on her. And I also know that I gave her daggers for this specific reason. Or a javelin, yeah. Okay, javelin it is. I mean, what am I doing? I can just shoot her. I'm, <laughs> I'm being dumb. And what is this? Piercing shot. Yeah, go for it. 50%, fine. Awesome, and gaping wounds were applied. Woohoo! Let me actually read Gaping Wounds really well. Oh, attacks. Okay, so Magic Missile is not an attack. I am still curious to see how the game implements that. But this is an attack, though. I can always try. One damage. Awesome. Okay. This is my time. Now, again, there are choices. I can shatter this, or I can Scorching Ray that. Ah, it's such a low chance. Okay, never mind. I will shatter this. And what have you done? Nothing. I can go for Invoke Duplicity. Too far away. Maybe here? No. Okay. Let's try this out. I'm not hitting Shadow Heart with this. Okay, all dead except one. Okay, your turn is done. Your turn is done. Your turn is done. 
And you can... Ooh, 80% chance, really? Okay. You can move over there. <clears throat> ah, okay, I take poison damage. That's what that does. More spooders. We broke the concentration on Bless, which sucks. 13 damage. Wow! Jesus, man. 24! Damage roll 4d6. God, Jesus. <laughs> We're not messing around here. Okay. Lazel, time to shine, lady. 51 hit points. Uh, there is ice somewhere around here. But this... I, I'm not sure if this is safe or not. Okay. 60% chance to hit. Hmm. I think I still want to go for the menacing attack instead of the fainting attack. Because if I can frighten her, that's just better. Pray for me. Oh, why? He's dazed. Oh, at least that's something. One can't always be a gentleman. I am threatened. Oh, I'm not. Wait, am I not threatened? I am threatened. They don't have a tax opportunity. Oh, interesting. Okay. So if that's the case, I will just move over here and shoot the bitch. Okay. Drink a potion and maybe go over there. They do have a tax opportunity. Interesting. And this... Oops, sorry. Distract them. Attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies, but it does not give this advantage. So, again, misplay on my part. I should have jumped over there. Used Invoke Duplicity so that Leazel would have advantage there. But I am dumb. And as such, I pay the price. Okay. <clears throat> you are going to play first, please. I don't actually want to knock her down. Because she may have loot. I could knock this bitch down, though. 95% chance to hit. But I think it's more important to start killing her than anything else. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, good damage. Heal up. And in the turn. So yeah, I'm thinking if I should focus on her or if I should put the invoke duplicity over there. I think I'm, I'm gonna try and, and do that. Or, never mind, it's a main action, so no. Six damage. Oh, I can push her. Okay. <laughs> Suck it. Whee! <laughs> and let's make sure this one doesn't go for Will. Okay, dude. Yes! Come on. What else? That second animation was kind of weird. Man, she has two hit points. Okay. Okay. This should work. They are both within three meters of this. And I can still move a little bit. Place it there. We have advantage. I'm furious. 
So we're gonna make this bitch eat it. Frightened and 10 damage. Good. Heal. Okay, your turn is done. Gale. Let's not miss, please. Decent, I guess. Uh, you can end your turn. So, uh, just so I'm sure of what I'm... S oh, she's on a simple toxin. That sucks! <laughs> the spellcaster and attack rolls when they and their target are both within 3 meters. Okay, so I think I can actually get the advantage here. Coming through. Right? Do I have it? Am I not within 3 meters of this? Are you kidding me? I'm not! Wait, I'm not? I must be right on the edge, Jesus. Come on, Will. Time to shine. Mm. Yes! Bitch! Come on, Will. Let's go for the fleshy finish here. No time to waste. Send this bitch flying down. Nice. I am happy, my friends. I am happy. Let's not jump on the toxin. Yeah, she can't move. It looks like she can move, but she can't move. She's immune to poison, though. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Let's summon our petite friend again. Oh, give me one second, please. Okay. Uh, do I have a short rest? I do not have a short rest. Okay. Let's see what they have. I didn't really want to step on the poison, though. She does have stuff. Heading out. I'll just move. Why not? I'm also over encumbered. A poisoner's robe. Poison trails. When the weather casts a spell that deals poison damage, it deals an additional 1d4 poison damage. I'm not sure if this will ever come up. But if it does, it will probably be Gale. Okay. We can gather up again. I think these have nothing. Time to get stuck on the web again. Okay. Yeah, I think there's nothing on these platforms here. But I do want to go down. There's also a way... Ah, uh, we've explored that, actually. Okay. A very deep hole going nowhere. A skeleton. Onyx ring, longbow, and gold. There's something hiding in that deep unknown. Get behind me. I can look first. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quick save here. Uh, so, for those of you who might be interested in, in knowing this, you can actually jump down here if you have the spell Featherfall. This one here. Which will grant you and your allies immunity to falling damage. And you've seen a little bit of the Underdark already when I cleared the Zentrim uh, basement and I went down the elevator. This is another way to go into the Underdark. Simply by jumping down with Featherfall up. Otherwise, you'll all die. We have a Dark Amethyst as well. Okay. 
Oh, unlock the ancient tome. We found the gem to unlock the book. Cool. And also what we have here. Gale's condition has become unstable. We gave Gale a potent magical item. Okay. Gale's condition has worsened again. He requires us to give another magical item. And we gave it to him, but this time the weave inside wasn't quite as effective at stabilizing his condition. He seems only mildly concerned about that. For now, we should keep looking for any suitable items for the next time he calls on us. It is getting annoying, though, that, that thing where I have to give him spells. I thought that... Oh, come on. I thought that at this point, I would have gotten more... Um, uh, that I would have gotten more magical items to feed him, but that has not been the case. Okay, well, we've taken care of all of this. So, before I start messing around with forbidden magic, let's actually rest. Okay, so, in the day. Uh, anybody want to talk to me? I think if I go for the bed and somebody wants to talk to me, the game lets me know. So I think I'm good. But I also feel like this could be a good chance for us to talk to another one of our companions. We've spoken to Shadowheart, we've spoken to Lazel. So, I guess we're gonna speak to Gale. How can I help? Okay. I'm not gonna feed him something. I was wondering, that condition of yours, why does it require magic? Think of it as... tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Hmm. I never realized it was so easy to cast magic? I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong, you did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Mm. Of course, as a warlock, your patron endows you with many such powers, otherwise unattainable. I do hope you cherish that gift. Okay, and what do you make of having a vampire in our camp? We all have our burdens, one way or the other. That's it? Okay. So just leave? Okay. There wasn't a lot to talk about. Good. Not much time lost on dialogue. Leave the camp. And I guess we're gonna see what happens. Okay, you first of all go invisible. If some kind of combat situation arises, I wanna be ready for it. At least in some way. The necromancy of Thay. Okay. Well, first of all, maybe give me some guidance. Just in case. Read. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. Mm hmm. Can I place the gem now? You try to examine the book, but the longer you. Okay, stare, we've seen this already. Yeah, okay, so we can destroy it, we can put it away, but now we can also place the amethyst in the slot of the book's cover. I will do that. I want power, my friends. Who do you take me for? I've already made a pact with the demon. I've grown horns. <laughs> I might as well go all in. Spooky. 
Is that a tendril? Open the book. Do not fear it. Gale disapproves. I don't care, Gale. It's irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly, you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Oh, saving throw. Wait, what? Ah, this also uses charisma, okay. Ask your patron to guard your mind and turn to the next page. And I am gonna add... Resistance? Oh, because these are saving throws, that's right! Oh, I can only pick one. Okay, so the Blast does the same thing exactly as, as this one for saving throws, so I might as well just use a... Um, a cantrip. Difficulty class 5, so this is basically guaranteed, unless I roll a 1. 28, okay. The symbols move aggressively, probing your mental defenses. Your patron is there to defend you, but there's only so much they can do. Oh, so my patron is gone away now. Wisdom proficiency. 15. 15 is harder. Okay. <laughs> the world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. We can force the book closed, or we can use our hand to turn another page. Sure. 20! I am not gonna get a 20. It cancels out. I am not gonna get a 20 here. This one will give me a plus one, but there's no real point in doing this. I'm, I'm not gonna get a 20. Well, um, good luck. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. Okay. The glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten. I hope that's enough. Undone. Your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. Okay. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you you should never have known. What did I get? I want power. Give me power. I still have the book. Wow, I got a lot of inspiration on 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 Gale. It's kind of funny because I just got two inspiration points out of Gale and he was the only person to disapprove. <laughs> A power of Eldritch Bond connects this relic and its owner. <clears throat> okay, so... But wh what happened, really? Um... Cast Guidance, received Guidance. Gale is gaining some... Inspirations. Cast Resistance. It doesn't say. Oh! 
Oh, I got the spell Speak with the Dead. Is that it? Because now I have two of them. And this one is a ritual. This one is an action ritual. Okay, so if I take away my necklace that gives me Speak with the Dead... I still have Speak with the Dead. Okay. It recharges on a long rest, I think. Okay. Okay, I guess I guess it frees up a necklace slot. <clears throat> Do I have any necklace that I might want? Type. This is a potion. Necklaces. Yeah, I don't have any necklace. Dancing lights, don't need it. When the weather has 50% or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. Okay, I guess I want to give this one to Will then. Defender of the people. Defender of the people, yes. Okay. Two steps at a time. This area is complete. Uh, thinking. I think I might go and explore the... Oh, wait, there's something here. Wait, how do I go there? Through here? Uh, I was gonna say, I'm thinking about going to explore the swamps next. It's either gonna be the swamps or it's gonna be the... Um, the, the goblin camp. One of those. Man, I can't wait to get level 5. I'm, I'm also gonna say that. <laughs> Level 5, I think, is like a, a real... You really feel a power increase when you go from level 4 to level 5. Oh yeah, I haven't been here. Perception, please. Okay, on you go. Uh, nothing requiring perception, it seems. Yeah, I mean, it, it does make a difference to have the light cantrip. It, it's very, very handy. Okay. Ooh. Man. The ones I already know. Ritual diagram. Wait, where? Oh, here. An ornate diagram is drawn upon this parchment depicting a ritual of some kind. At the bottom, two figures, a spider and an elf, are sketched with overlapping circles. A single word is penned beneath them. Transcendence. Is this like when, when Drow are turned into... Um, I forget the name, man. Sharp as ever. I forget the name. Icewind Dale has a lot of them. Um, the 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 Deirdrens, Deirdrens. I forget. Actually, give me a second because I, I want to know this. Um, it's uh, Bald. Actually, Icewind Dale, I guess. Icewind Dale, Drow Spider. If I look for this, it should work. Driders, on dry, uh, they are driders. Maybe this is describing driders. Tattered journal. A journal filled with hastily sketched diagrams of spiders and various spell runes. The captions are largely written in code, save for a few passages near the end that are penned in shaky common. They can sense my devotion. It draws them. I hear them in the shadows, whispers from the Dark Mother. I woke to a gift wrapped in spider silk, a pair of boots taken from a heretic's corpse. Lold sends her daughters to reward my faith, to let me know I am on the right path. Another gift? The corpse of a drow, sigil scarred upon his face, an arachnomancer, one with the power to inhabit the spider's form. It is a message, a calling. My blood already dries upon the dagger, her blessed image carved into my skin. Somebody was up. <coughs> Somebody was up. Sorry, excuse me. Cough attack. Somebody was up to some 
bad stuff here. Ooh, spider step boots. Immune to being entangled. Your movement speed is not affected by web surfaces. This can be quite good. I think Lazel already has some... Yeah. When she dashes, the, she gets three lightning charges. Okay, which I want on her. So I suppose I can take him. Okay, no longer encumbered, hopefully. Yeah. A bloody journal. Though originally a screed on Lold Pentin... Uh, okay, some weird words here. Though originally a screed on Loth penned in blood, this book's crimson script has been smeared away in several places, a different handwriting atop it. I recall my life upon the surface with more than regret. I weep for the decades spent treading the murky waters of profanity while my true queen waited in the shadows. Even my name, Eliette, feels foreign and foul upon my tongue. A high elf exalted by Loth herself, my draw captors cannot fathom it, but I see their houses downfall in visions granted by the Spider Queen herself. When that day comes, when some unnamed whelp from an insignificant house cuts the matron mother's throat, I will escape. I will find solitude, and I will worship Lolth with my very soul. Hmm. Okay, I do find this interesting. Pick it up. I, I do need to... I need to go back to the merchants to sell some stuff. This is way too much rope. Okay. Oh, oh my god, now she's encumbered. -na 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 -na. You know what this is? This is me not wanting to to lose time. Money. That I could be recording, selling stuff, and then this happens and I waste time anyway. I, I gotta do it before the next episode. Comes, I'm ready. Oh, wait, there's another journal over there. Jesus. Also a web-covered journal. This book's leaves are stuck together with thick webbing that leeches ink when pulled from the page. Only the final entry remains remotely legible. It is time. I will forever transcend this blasphemous flesh and refashion myself in the Queen's image. No longer will I be bound to this lowly form, this base shape of organ and bone. Even the arachnomancers of Menzo... <coughs> of Menzo Beranzan... Sh I, I don't think that's how you um, pronounce that. Menzo Beran... Menzo Beranzan... Shall we put my feet, their little spell so feeble and fleeting? Today, I found the House of Loth, and I shall be its matriarch. Okay, so there's some crazy lady over here. I am very much liking what's going on, though. I hope this has a, a cool conclusion. Like, if we find this high elf that wants to... Praise Lolth. And we have to fight it or something? I would like that. I'm a simple man. I don't need much. If you portray, like, a villain properly, or some kind of crazy witch properly, and then you can fight her, that's a win in my book. You don't need much else to have, like, a satisfying encounter. And I think we have seen everything we could in this area. Okay. Well, we will be off, my friends. So like I was saying, my next objective will be to either check out the swamp or to check out the goblin camp. And I think I'm gonna go... Uh, here. I have to come here because I need to sell some stuff. And in that regard, I think I'll just move close to the traders. And then I can just end the episode there. I'm not going to make you guys watch me mark things as wares and whatnot. 
And I'll start the next episode by selling everything that we don't need. Maybe sending some stuff to camp. And from there, we can just, you know, continue our adventure without being worried with our inventories, which is always a pain. I will check out, though, if this guy has money. Time for a because they do need money need to purchase else? my things. Of course, but please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does have money. Okay, cool. Also, something that I've been forgetting for a long while. I wanted to give Shadowheart this bow. But I need to see if it's actually worth it. Because this one will deal 1d10 plus 2. But the bow deals plus damage based on strength. So if I put this on her... Oh no. This plus 3 might just be from the actual bow itself. I think I will have to try it to figure it out. Yep. Okay, so for right now we can do this. You can take Giant Breaker. So now we both have rare uh, ranged weapons on Lazal and Shadowheart, which makes me happy. And like I said, before I finish, before I start the next episode, I am going to mark my stuff as wares to sell all of this crap. Maybe all these books can also go away. I don't know. <laughs> but just free up some space in general. So this will be the end of this episode, my friends. I hope you guys are enjoying it. As always, I want to thank you all for being here on the channel with me, watching some Baldur's Gate 3. Um, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, anything else, you know what to do. Leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. It's a free and easy way to support the channel and many more videos will be coming very, very soon. I hope to see you all in the next episode and until then, stay safe everyone.